my deal is, is that it's happened to 144 that I know of who have been wrongfully convicted and sentenced to death row. Innocence is a real problem. I think one of the biggest things we do is uh, walk over innocent people in order to execute the truly guilty. That was Kirk Bloodsworth, who appeared on CCTV back in January. He's the first person in the United States to have his death sentence reversed based on DNA evidence. Problems with convictions aren't the only issue plaguing the U.S. justice system. There are major issues with the drugs used in carrying out the death penalty. But yet, the executions continue. This year in the United States, there have been 20. The average time from sentence to execution is just under 19 years. Most of them are carried out in the U.S. state of Texas. And around the world, executions are continuing as well. According to Amnesty International, most of the world's executions last year happened in China. Exact figures are not available. Iraq had one of the highest increases in executions, up 30 percent from 2012. And the United States remains the only country in the Americas with an active death penalty system. But this issue is not just about statistics and chemistry. At its core, this is a life or death debate with a significant impact on real lives. CCTV's Daniel Renches begins our emotional insight. A nationwide review of the death penalty was ordered after President Barack Obama called the botched execution of Clayton Lockett in Oklahoma deeply troubling. In Virginia, this former prison guard agrees. I used to be the executioner, so you know I had to believe in it. And I believe in it to a point where I took the lives of people. During his career, Jerry Givens carried out 62 executions, 25 by electric chair and 37 by lethal injection. The system that we have, our criminal justice system that we have, that we display, if we can't straighten that up, then we need to do, do away with executions. This path doesn't just mark the border between two U.S. states. It also highlights their differences when it comes to the issue of capital punishment. On my right in West Virginia, a convicted murderer could face the possibility of life in prison. But on my left in Virginia, they could end up on death row. Just a few miles into West Virginia, Debbie Newell is mourning the loss of her eight-year-old daughter, Jessica. She wants the killer to be put to death not kept in prison for life. They're protecting somebody that's not better. They're protecting, an, as far as I'm concerned, an animal. They had evidence, true evidence, that he did this. Fingerprints, fibers, blood. He should be put to sleep. They were hollering murder, child killer. Jessica was brutally murdered by an uncle on her father's side. Debbie Newell says she would personally carry out his execution if she could. Yes, I would be. I would love to press the button. He looked that little girl in her face, and he beat her in her little head until she died. And he don't deserve to live. He don't deserve to be here. He don't deserve for us with our taxpaying money to take care of him. Suja Graham spent three and a half years on death row and recalls the moment he was finally told said, oh my God. to prepare himself for execution. You just hope it'll be quick. That's all you can hope. You don't want it to happen, but you don't want him to suffer. See, just a psychological fact of being subjected to the death penalty is enough torture. But when you sit there and you see 47 people walk down, you don't know when your day was going to come. But with strong legal support and four trials, he was ultimately acquitted on all charges and released in 1981. We can resolve our problems and deal with our problems in society without having the result to killing to prove the killing. This one, we must evolve. 18 years ago, 78% of Americans supported the death penalty, but the polling organization Pew Research has tracked a notable decline in support since then. Even so, a majority of Americans still agree with the sentiments expressed by this grieving mother, with 55% supporting capital punishment. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV in Martinsburg, West Virginia.